what we do here. So welcome to today's project, and I forgot my earbuds. Let me see here. <clears throat> so how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is having a great, great day. I hope everybody is safe at home, enjoying time with your family, doing what you love to do, unbothered, unmolested, un-everything. So, you know, there's very few things I'll stand with, all the way 100% with, but this is probably one of the things. <laughs> I think no matter who you are, where you live, what you believe in, whatever, as long as you're not hurting anybody else, I think you should live free. I don't think anybody should come to your house, um, mess with you in any kind of way. Uh, definitely should not bomb you, invade you, nothing like that. Um, so I feel, I feel for the people of Ukraine and, um, yeah, basically, fuck Putin. Like, uh, <laughs> like I don't know how else to say it. You know, I, I don't, I don't know much about Russia. I don't know much about their people, but goddamn, that dude that runs your country is a goddamn. I mean, he's just an asshole. I don't know what to say it. So, the one thing I do believe in a hundred percent is that no matter where you are in life. Nobody should bother you. You should be able to live free. So, this stream, you know, this is a show that I just stand with Ukraine. And I wish I could do more. Um, so, yeah. If, if you feel so inclined, um, in the chat there, there's a link to donate directly to help save the children. Um, if you feel so inclined today. What is it, babe? Why are you looking around like crazy? Oh, I was looking for the TV. Oh. So, yeah, that's that's what I would recommend you guys to do. But with all that being said, let's get on with today's uh, project. So you can see here on this camera, I have it set up on the cutting mat. And, uh... We're going to cut it out here as we go along. I have printed it out on a regular piece of paper and then I stuck it onto a thick, thicker paper here. And then we're going to use this on our dark canvas, which is over here on this camera. And we're going to paint this up here. Now on the design, again, this design is available down below. Um, for you guys to use and follow along and try this project at home if you wish. Um, there's a link right below the video to all the images for all the streams we've done. If you want to wish to learn how to airbrush, there's lots of streams available with lots of different projects we've done. This is one of them. And all I've done is printed it out, stuck it onto the paper. And we're going to be using a blade, just an X-Acto knife like this. Uh, to be cutting pieces up. So we're going to start by cutting off the whole bottle and, and the cloth at the front. Then we're going to just stick this up here. Now you have multiple ways of sticking it. I'm going to just use some magnets and yeah. So 
But yeah, I mean, it's just a very, very, very uh, sad situation that I don't think anybody should ever have to go through. It's, it's honestly quite sad. So all I'm doing is right because we're working on a canvas today is I'm taking a, a magnet on one side and a magnet on the other side. And we're going to do it that way. So what's up, Mark Nagel? What's up, Franz? What's up, Ben? I was just making sure to take a moment to address the whole situation. And like, really, like, if you just... I just... There is nothing you could say that would change my look on people just being able to live free in the way they want. You know, if they ain't bothering nobody, then let them do it. You know, in their country, however they want to do it, right? So, I, I don't know. That's, that's not hard to understand. So all I'm doing is taking some magnets and we're just going to make sure our design stays still while we work on the bottle on the inside. <clears throat> and then um, I have put the flames in the design here. So if you want to use those flames, you can do so. But I think I'm going to just do some real fire around the outside of it. So if you guys want to do that, um, I do have video on how to create the fire. also available for free on YouTube so if you need to brush up on your fire skills I recommend I probably need one more right here What's up, Total Pain? How's it going, man? Just try to get this nice stuff. So there we have our design cut out and we're going to just start right away. We're going to do this in color. So I hope you have the airbrushes to keep up in color. What I'm going to do is just start off with some opaque white. You guys hear me okay? Everything good? canvas like a yes or some sort no so this particular canvas I laid a black sealer and then I laid wicked black over the top of that um, you can yes or canvases I'm not saying not to I'm just you know it's really I don't know it's your own personal preference I guess I kind of like the texture a little bit but um, yeah if you want a really nice smooth surface you can always yes or it most canvases nowadays come pre-primed in white, so it's really just convenient and easy to just start, get one and just start spraying away. I'm just taking some white here. I threw a little bit of reducer in there. <clears throat> right on, the sound is good, good, good. I hope everything thing is good so yeah it's a sad situation it's a sad world we're living in right now oh man I just hope all of you guys out there are doing good I hope everybody's okay um, yeah it's rough it's just wild I, I just didn't think stuff would be this bad
So I'm just going to come in with the white. Now, if you notice on the design, the edge of the bottle is only like a little bit around. All I want to do is hit that edge. Now, you could go out and cut it, and we are going to cut it, but I just want a nice edge around the outside, and if the overspray goes over a little bit, like into this area, that'll be just fine. I just want to hit this edge real good of the bottle. Cool. Just that, that's it. Just a nice little glow. That's it. What's up, Bartholomew? Got your werewolf set up. Nice, nice. Good luck, man. I've had a lot of people try that one. That one's been really popular, which is nice. Thank you for, for trying it out. Good luck. This design can be done on a t-shirt also, correct? Yeah. So that... That design is down there. You could go and get it. You could download it. On a t-shirt, I would probably use a projector and you know trace it out with some pencil. And you'll have a little bit more fun. You could freehand it on there a little bit. Um, or if you want to do it this way, like I'm doing, you probably can't use magnets, but you could use like tape or something like that and uh, hold it on there and you could do it that way. What's up, Chris? How's it going, man? Hola, hola, primo. Que rollo, que, que dice mi gente? Arriba, Ucrania. <laughs> All right, so we have our stencil here, right? Um, and so I'm going to cut off the outside edge of the bottle. So you see this edge that goes all the way around right here? Right? I'm going to cut that off. And this is where it's going to start getting, because of doing it on canvas, it's going to get a little tricky. But we're going to have some fun with it. And this is one of those designs where, because we're doing it on black, because I want the fire at the top. Like I said, we're gonna do some real fire coming off the bottle. And um, that way it'll give it a really good look. But all I'm doing is cutting out, you see that? We're gonna take off the cloth as well. Boom. Right, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom here. This one's a little bit trickier. This is like more advanced, um, I guess a, a more advanced kind of like cut and paste technique uh, than we usually do, but this design is gonna look sweet. Worth the, worth the trouble. What's up, Marshall Artistry? Good morning to you, sir. It's actually afternoon now. So I'm gonna take uh, some of these and maybe just a little bit of tape just to let them stay in place while we need them to stay in place. See that? Just take a little tape, roll it up, boom. And then here's a pro tip, like on these, right? On these, they're so skinny. Take your tape like this. And then we're going to slice it. Look at that. Slice it into little rolls. Bam, then we can take this, flip it over, and put one there. Whoa. Put one there. On the edges is usually the best way to go. Stuck myself with that one. That's why we have the camera set up like this today so you guys can see what I'm doing over here. Hopefully you guys are watching on a screen or a monitor or if you're on a phone, I hope you re-watch it later on something bigger so that you can see what I'm doing here. And all 
we're doing is cutting everything over here on the cutting mat, and then we're going to bring it over here, right? So. that simple thing and in this particular instance it's okay if like you get a little bit of overspray under these areas because we're painting a glass bottle and we're going to be using a little bit of color for the filler for the liquid you know but if that gets underneath onto this white it's okay don't don't panic don't don't think it's the end of the world or anything like that It'll be quite okay. And let's not forget our cloth. Actually, we already have white loaded, so maybe we could do this in white. So maybe let's cut off the rest of the cloth first. paste this whole thing in here see that there that leaves just the cloth exposed so we're gonna go ahead and hit that with some white because we have the white loaded already so that makes it super easy Gonna make sure we get a good nice fill in there. It's nice and white. Boom. Then I'm gonna load up some gray, just a little bit of gray because we're gonna need it for multiple parts. So I'm just gonna load this up. And uh, I've chosen to replace the Air Cobra for now while we wait on parts. Um, I've chosen the Sparmax Max 3 to take its place because I know a lot of you get asked, which, what airbrush is that? What airbrush is that? This is the Sparmax Max 3. I'm using some of my pre-reduced gray I do have all the lines on the actual cloth part so you know where to add these shades and all I'm going to do is take some gray and we're going to start adding those shadows in for the cloth. Obviously I drew the design so I kind of more or less know where, where these go.
going to do a little push and pull with the gray. So I'm going to do some gray like this, right? And then we're going to come back in with the white right over that and use some really nice up close fine strokes in here to really build up the texture of the cloth. to brighten up those edges. using the sotar for the black we're still we're still doing that what's up James Melton how's it going sir so yeah I don't know I don't know how all of you guys feel about it, but uh, yeah, that's kind of how I feel. This 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 says it all. And uh, also, here in a second, I'll post up in the chat. So one of the things I've seen uh, coming out of this whole thing, which really makes me more sad than anything else, is seeing all the kids and stuff. Um. <clears throat> that are pretty much uh, trying to just leave the war and stuff and seeing all those families being broken apart and stuff and so that's why this stream it's like yo if, if I know some of you guys like just coming in and donating money and whatnot but uh, I would highly encourage you this stream instead of giving ten dollars or five dollars or whatever it is to me that I I don't really need all that money, you know, um, if you could, and if you choose to, and you want to help, um, right there in the chat, there's a link, and you could go and donate directly to Save the Children, which is, I guess they're trying to do their best to try to get some of them kids out of there and back, and yeah, so, they're getting them into good areas, but it's super sad to see. And uh, yeah, like I said, nobody should have to go through that ever. No matter who you are, what you believe in, or what, as long as you ain't hurting nobody else, and it's like, you know, you should be left alone. I don't know why that's difficult, but it seems to be. You're a good person, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. But, um, no, seriously, like, that's, it's not cool. You know, no matter who you are, no matter what, what it is, like, that's not cool. Like, you know, having to leave your house, one, not cool. Like, then kids, you know, don't have no idea what's going on. That's rough, man. I don't care who you are. If you're a parent out there, you, you know that that's just not, that's not how you, kids should be, you know, kids shouldn't see that, know that. And there's all those reports of schools getting bombed and all that shit. It's like, nah, man, I'm not the guy. I'm not that guy for that. Those people are the ones right now. They're out there doing some crazy shit. Going through some crazy shit. And I just wish them the best of luck and I hope they hold out. And I hope they survive and, you know, regain their freedom. 
everybody should be able to live just free however they want, man. I don't know. But yeah. So all I'm doing is putting the pieces back in and we're going to just leave the middle label exposed. And we have the white and the gray and the black already loaded so this will be pretty quick. Now the little tank logo in the middle, you can choose to cut that out if you want to and do it that way. I'm actually going to try to do that little tank in freehand. Maybe we'll We'll move the canvas over here so I could kind of sit down and do that. <clears throat> but the, the lettering and the stripes and stuff, I am going to use the airbrush for that. So. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, Ben. I agree with you, Ben. I mean, it's crazy, man. It's just crazy to... It's just crazy to think. Um, you donated to the Scott McKay's channel? Cool. I hope he did also save the children. I, I didn't catch his stream, so I don't know. But, um, yeah. I'm doing is doing some gray just kind of coming around the sides here that's going to give it the labels a little bit of roundness to it then I'm going to come back over here to the label itself and I'm just going to cut out the lettering and the stripes right here and we'll load up some red so we can do these in red We have a lot of care projects in Germany. Every town, school, some stuff like clothing and medical stuff. Yeah, that's good. I've seen Germany's like doing everything pretty much possible to, to you know, make it hard. And also everything to help, which is nice. And everything to make it hard for Russia right now, which is definitely Probably good. this tiny little lettering it's always fun especially when you've decided to cut it onto some thick paper
Yo, but one thing has been cool to watch. Well, I shouldn't say it's cool to watch, but uh, inspirational and, and, and amazing. It's just watching the people of Ukraine do crazy stuff, man. Some of them TikToks and stuff. Oh, my God, I couldn't believe it. They're like out there taking the tanks and taking the stuff from the soldiers or making fun of the soldiers. Oh, man. Hilarious. Some of the stuff is just plain, oh, my God, like the balls. Hey, yo, give me some spicy meat balls, you know. Did you see the farmer who stole the <laughs> There's been like multiple. That's what's that's what's funny to me is like they've stolen like multiple vehicles, not just one or two, you know. There's been like they stole an anti-aircraft thing, they freaking stole a tank, a personnel carrier, like they're just they're just making off with stuff. They're just towing it away. It's it's, it's super funny, dude. Like What's up, Paul Tarchala? How's it going, sir? Yo, that, that is some major balls, though. The balls on those people, like, they ain't playing. All right, so we got that put in there. I'm just going to load up some red. I hope it ends soon. Tomorrow begins my new school for the next two years, and I'm in the German National Guard. Oh, man. Yeah, I just, I hope it ends soon so that those people don't have to suffer. Man, I don't, like, you know what I'm saying? Nobody deserves to suffer like that for no reason. So... I will say this too. <laughs> I'm all full of stuff that I'm willing to say. Um, the Russian army, uh, they just seem to be shit. <laughs> like, just gonna say it straight up, they just seem to be shit at what they're doing. Um, I kept watching all these videos yesterday where they were talking about the logistics. You know, soldiers win battles, logistics win wars, that kind of thing. Um, and man, that, that was just terrible. Like, some of the, the stuff and how underprepared they are <laughs> to resupply their, their troops. And then you see reports of soldiers... Uh, posting up like expired MREs that the soldiers were carrying around and stuff. It's like, what's going on? They, they really just seem like some amateurs out there. 
considering it's their neighboring country. <laughs> What's up, Blue? How's it going? Blue! Bef do not donate, Blue! I'm going to tell you what to do, Blue. You're the one. So today, instead of donating it to me, please, go and donate to help save the children that has been running like operations to help the kids get out and also helping families and stuff. Um, so yeah, please, if you feel so inclined, um, go and donate there. Um, thank you again, everybody, for all your support. And I just hope that you guys can all show support for Ukraine. Even if you, like, agree with the war, whatever it is, which is, that's so dumb. That's dumb to say out loud. Anyway, like... You, you should probably agree that people should not be bombed and children should not be harmed and schools should not be targeted and on and on and on and on, basically. Um, so, please, all I'm asking is you guys go and donate to help save the children. I'm not, I'm not putting it through a fundraiser or anything like that. Anything that you give helps. I don't need to keep tally of it. It's not a freaking... It's not a let's show who donates more kind of thing. It's more of a, like, let's just freaking help because those kids don't know what the hell is happening and they shouldn't have to live through that. I know I wouldn't want my kid living through that as a dad. And, yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't wish it on any of your guys' kids living that, you know, so. Most of them Ruskies are 16, 18 years old. Yeah, a lot of them, like, man... They're talking about how they, they were tricked and all this. It's it's wild. All right, so now all I'm doing is cutting out the fluid part of the inside of the bottle so that we can isolate that part next. We're not done with the label. All we're doing is trying to get the main colors and parts in, and then we could... Uh, Kind of go in there and add some more details and some more work but once we have all the basic shapes and colors in there it'll be a lot easier to do so all right so we're going to put back the part that's not the liquid and all we're doing is cutting out the liquid parts and on this bottom piece we can go ahead and take out the whole thing because we're going to fill it in with liquid and then we're going to go back and add that glass kind of sheer in the back. But for now, we just worried about filling in the liquid color. And then this piece over here. <sighs> yeah, it is heartbreaking. Just just seeing that shit is, is crazy. how anybody could stand by that. Yeah, I just don't know. That army is definitely unhinged though, man. That army has issues. That Russian army has fucking issues. They're bombing the nuclear power plant and stuff. Like, bro, you gotta have a death wish. Shooting at the nuclear power plant with tanks, bro. Like, if you're that guy that's in the tank, what is going through your mind? Like, I must know. What the fuck were you thinking? Like, <laughs> you got me a six pack. Now I party with Skull People. <laughs> Thomas Thompson got his day ready. I like it. I like it. One more thing is the respect for the Ukrainian people, 
All men stay and fight for the country and save the women and kids first. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, uh... Yeah, those guys are some badasses. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much all you can say. Them guys is not playing. Alrighty, so... For the filling... I don't know why, but I have this, um... I feel like using a metallic for the liquid. Is that weird? Is it weird I want to use a metallic to do that? <laughs> I just think it would look cool. So I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to just use the metallic as a liquid. But then we're going to do, like I said, we're going to do some reflections. We're going to make the bottle look like it's, you know, got some shine to it. But I don't know why this just, I just think this would look good. And this is the Wicked Metallic Elegance. This color is really nice. I really like this color. So we're going to let that dry for a quick second. Alright, so then we're going to go back on the bottom piece here. And we're just going to cut off this... Um, this little strip here. We're going to try to post these pieces back on. This piece and this piece. And I'm going to come in with some whites. Oh my gosh, come on, just stay, just stay in place for five seconds. Oh my gosh, the other piece. I just need you to stay in place, there you go. I'm just going to hit that nice and easy. Bam. All right, boom. And then we're going to just hit the edge of the liquid here. Just to brighten it up a little bit. And then we put in some shadows coming off of there. Right. And that. We're going to bring in the highlights off of the bottom of the bottle there. Boom. Then I'm just going to hide those little highlights we just did. I'm just gonna lay some metallic right over them. Which is gonna turn them kind of into the same. It's gonna make a match with the liquid color, right? Which is all I want. Bam! And I'm gonna take the red. Just make sure I touch up my label here with the red. Um, uh, 
Um, and yeah, I believe pretty much we could unmask the bottle. Take my white and a shield. And we're just gonna add a little highlights to the bottle here. So obviously you see the roundness of the bottle right here. So I'm just gonna take a little highlight here and throw it over right over those um, splashes inside the bottle there. And that's gonna throw that into the inside the bottle, right? So that's all we're doing. Build up the edge. Maybe there's a nice little highlight right here. Bam. See, so now that liquid's inside. You can bring that highlight all the way down. Boom. Same thing on the other side. And it's just a nice little highlight. And you can re hit that edge there. Throw some highlights coming back this way. bottom edge there and even though it's just white and we're just doing white over white every pass you do with the white when it's reduced gets a little bit brighter so just hit it nice and bright what did it do with my shield I just had it <clears throat> nice blue thank you thank you I'm gonna say I'm gonna send you a free skullcap blue just for being awesome, you're always donating. Anybody right now, actually, if you send me a screenshot of your donation, your confirmation for your donation, I will send you a free skull cap. That way, you know, we can actually maybe get some more help out there. So if you send me that, um, I will send you a free skull cap. I'll even let you pick the color. All right, so now I'm gonna just take the outside off. Now, like I said, I have drawn the flames on there. If you wanna use those flames for your particular project, by all means, do so. We have our bottle. Ah, looking good. Cool. And all I'm going to do is build some flames coming up on here. Maybe we'll do some yellow kind of on the bottle. So like the fire is kind of, you know, coming off there. You can't really tell the metallic too well on screen unless I flip the board around. You can see how well that comes up if I flip it around there. But that'll look cool. Uh, but yeah, let's get the, let's get some fire going. So I'm gonna start off with some red here. start off with some red and I kind of want it coming off of here a little bit like it's on the bottom I'm just gonna bring it up now we start off with a little freehand first 
just to give myself an idea of where I want the fire to go. Then I'm just going to reinforce. Now working with the opaques, uh, all I got to do is just reinforce my edge here. Make sure that's nice and dry. Red, white, and blue, huh? I would if that would have been like if that would make a good color combination for fire. I think I, I definitely would. But uh, I'm gonna load up some orange. In blue. <laughs> I, I will. I'll send you a blue one. Right on, Tim. Yeah, so I posted this picture up on Instagram, and I've had like two or two people ask to, if they could use it for their tattoo, and one person asked me if it was okay to use it for like a design to print on shirts. Which I was like, go ahead. <laughs> and I told them I'm gonna be painting it in a few days, so if you want to wait till I paint the one I'm gonna paint, and then you can use that. But apparently they wanted to get them done right away, so they were just going to use it, and then, yeah. So it'll be cool to see.
5604, huh? Fifty six oh four. Createx fifty six oh four? I don't know. I'd have to refer you to the text sheet. Um, if if it's a Createx product, you should be able to find it um at creatextech.com and you should be able to find the info on it there. I literally, I literally put that in front of every live stream because that's the one of the main asked questions around here. I'm not about 5604, but everybody asks about, you know, how do you use this? How do you use that? Um, and the best advice that I could give you is not to tell you how to use it, but to tell you where to find the information, all of it, directly from Createx, and that is creatextech.com. It says 5604 gloss top coat. I don't know. I'll have to check it out myself. I've never heard of it. So uh, please hit the thumbs up for Mike, everyone. Yeah, yeah, please. We've already had some Russian trolls come in here and hit the thumbs down button. Like, bro, if, if <laughs> this ain't that channel where I'm going to really care. Like, I like when I get thumbs up, but, like, I'm not... I'm not losing sleep over getting more thumbs ups or thumbs downs or whatever. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is we have that pretty set. I'm gonna take, actually I can just use this yellow one. I'm just gonna use some of this yellow here and we're gonna we're gonna use it to build some layers. I'm gonna do some candy coats. Just as quick little strokes and then I'm gonna lay some orange candy right over them. Them tape shooting bastards, yeah. <laughs> Anytime I see so like, I feel like I have to read it with an accent. I have to use the yeah, the whole twang, you know, you gotta get it all in there. And I like using the grabber orange for the fire a lot of the times. 
I feel it gives a good good flow, good vibe. Looks it looks good. It looks good. Oh, you know what I did forget? I forgot to bring the yellow down onto the bottom, but I still have the yellow loaded, so that's not a big deal. Thumbs up all day for Mike. Just say it. Oh, Blue, you nice. You nice. Thank you, thank you. Again, thank you guys again for all the support. You guys are awesome. I'm just going to use this candy. And when you throw it over the red and the orange and the yellow like that, we're really just deepen it. The red is really going to get really red. The more, the more I've used candy, the more I've kind of came into some ways of using it. Where like you lay the red down, but if you lay the grabber orange over the red, it's not going to turn the, the red orange, obviously, but it's going to deepen that red and it's going to really bring it back out. And I'm not covering it all. I'm leaving those bright spots right in the middle, but I'm going to make sure I get the whole edge here. And go over the design a little bit like that. Bam. Yep, that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to go back in with the yellow. And I just want a little bit of yellow just to kind of Going up in the bottle here. Just like the light. The light from the fire is just kind of going over. And you see I'm just lightly misting it in. It is kind of giving a little glow of overspray over there. That's exactly what I want. I'm going to come back in. We'll clean up this edge over here so that this white is not there. And that'll make this edge look really dark. And we'll use a little bit of black and gray to really darken up this edge so that this eye is brighter. Just because of the flame. Use a little bit of the opaque yellow. Just a little freehand. Gonna come in here. Yeah. And maybe just a little bit with the edge. Maybe just a little bit there. Not too much. Back in with the white. First the white. I'm just gonna do a little highlights here on the bottle. Outline on the liquid here to make the liquid look kind of like it's it's you know liquidy in there shining even though it's inside you can see your highlights still over and when you go sideways obviously because it's metallic you see how it takes over see that that shift I think that looks pretty darn good already Obviously, we're still going to add the tank, but 
I just want to clean up this edge right here. I'm going to use a little bit of black. You can just use the straight edge off of the, the design here. There you go. Right, and then maybe we'll bring in just a shadow of black. Alright, so I think I got pretty much all of that in there. I'm gonna should try to I really want to move it over here so that I could try to get that tank in there. Because I don't want to cut out the tank. I think I could get in there freehand for for my own sake. It might just be easier that way, so it's kinda of how I wanna do that. But I think this looks pretty good so far. Right up in here. I just want to. I just want to black. You know what? I think I could do it. I think I could do a standing. I've been working out. I've been trying. Maybe I could steady myself. Steady myself before I break myself. Before I lose myself. Before I draw myself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did you get my email? No, I don't think I got an email yet. I was waiting for it that day, but I didn't get it. Looks freaking great. Hell, I feel like throwing it. <laughs> right? I know, right? All right, let's, let's see if we can get this little thing in here. Oh man, oh man, your boy is badass. What's up, what's up with it, what's up with it? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> it says the 5604 is for leather fabric. Oh, that's probably why I've never heard of it. All right, I think I just want to lay some 4050 gloss over it real quick, just so you guys can see what them flames, what them flames do.
just jamming out today. Oh, yeah, I got my beats. I got my beats in my ears. I'm ready, bro. I'm fucking... I'm over here doing the Indian water dance and shit. I should probably stop because that's probably why it's snowing outside. Yeah, that's also a thing. Right now, there's like eight inches of snow outside. Jess is going to the store for some reason with that much snow out. I tried to tell her, no, don't go now. But she's like, no, I'm going to go. I said, okay, you go. <laughs> Ooh, you know what we could do before we put this 4050 on? Let's try out some of the Hot Rod Sparkle, boy. Oh, you know what? I have never used this before. But we'll, we'll tell you what. We'll try it out on one of the sides or something. And we'll see what happens. Mm. These look very pearly, and I don't want to put anything on it that's getting pearly. These all look very, oh, oh, that one, Jess would love that. Hot Rod Sparkle Purple, oh boy, that's nice. And these are all pretty nice, but that purple, is, woo, woo. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. We'll, we'll wait for it, we'll wait for a different bug here. I honestly can't wait for the warm weather, guys. Once we get some warm weather, um, we'll be able to do a little more, a little more, a little more spraying. Um, because uh, obviously the warm weather, so we'll be able to use the spray booth and stuff. <laughs> I really want to use it, but I also don't like. This is not the, the design that needs to be sparkly, and. They look very pearly, so I don't want to throw it on there and then cover the whole design with pearl, and then you can't really see it, and that would really suck. So instead, I'm just going to throw some 4050 gloss, which this is what you would have wanted to order, um, Steel. You would have wanted to order the 4050 gloss, which is this one here, um, with some 4011 reducer. <coughs> and you reduce it 10 to 15%. Um, is where it works the best if you're trying to use it for a top coat. 10 to 15% reduction will give you a really nice, hard, stiff top coat that even if you let it dry all the way, it's like sandable and stuff. But it does take a little bit of a minute to dry because it is water based. But what's your favorite all around brush to use? Uh, that would still have to be the Water Eclipse HPCS. probably the one I would recommend for most people if you're just gonna buy your first airbrush that's what I would recommend and then from there then from there you could venture out and try other airbrushes um, having the HPCS to start off with will save you a lot of trouble a lot of headaches and I've, I've tried out quite a few brushes but they still the Iwata still seem to produce the best value because it lasts so long and uh, they just their atomization and their quality control and everything everything from the minute you get and open that box everything is super premium um, which I can't really say that for other brands You guys can't see that little cloud that I just made, but there's just a nice little cloud right there. We're going to let that first coat dry. I'm going to do another coat 
and then I'll let you guys take a good look at it. It already looks nice and deep and, and really popped, so once we do the second coat on it, it's really, really going to shine. And I think we're done with this, so I can close it up. Other side, add some reducer, shake it up, and then we can let it emulsify while this dries up the first coat. Sparmax has a weird top, so the skull cap doesn't go on it quite right. I need to like shave a little bit off of it. So. Look at that model top, yeah. I was trying not to say it, you know, I was trying not to, not to say the M word, because I don't want YouTube to be all... He can't promote hate and crimes and stuff. Even though we're an art channel and we're just sitting here painting it. Um, YouTube doesn't play around, so. You bought your HPCS for $97? Yeah, I, man. If you get a deal on them right now, I would jump on it. Even if it's a little bit broken. Like if it just says all oh, the the nozzle or the needles bent or something, if you find one on sale, I would take it and then just fix it and you're good to go. Just gotta let it dry. So let me put you guys straight on. You can see how wet it is. Because <laughs> you can't see that when it's at an angle. But right here, you guys will see it dry. sets another email cool cool if you sent it to the right place I should have just got it I didn't get one so I would check check the email you're sending it to because I didn't I didn't get one so That looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Now it just has to dry, obviously. And it's still gloss, so it is gonna dry shiny. And you can see that metallic liquid. You can see the fire. I dig it, I like it. 
This is literally like watching paint dry. He said, blow dry that thing. <laughs> you guys are funny, yo. It is gloss, too, so it's going to try semi-shiny or shiny. <laughs> Just get a nice even shine there when it's dry. It's dry. So you see a nice uniform coat. It's a little wet at the bottom. The rest of it's pretty dry though. Did you watch the fight last night? No, I didn't watch the fight. Another wave of thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Hit that thumbs up, guys. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video today. Um, walking through the whole process of this. I, I, I want to put it like that, but you guys are going to get a glare. No matter where I put it, you're going to get a glare because it's shiny. So I could try to put it like this, and then maybe if I angle it. so it doesn't catch the light, you know? There you go. There. I have to hold it down, because if I put it back, then the glare comes. That's just from being shiny. That looks pretty good. I really like it. You ever sit down and watch Encanto? I did. I watched it with Violet. And, uh, yeah. It was very interesting. We don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> Maybe if I do this, like, instead of angling the canvas, if I angle the camera? Nope, that doesn't work the same. <laughs> anyway guys hopefully you guys enjoyed that video I'm going to go ahead and get out of your guys' hair um, I got to go clean the sidewalk of snow blue blue no no blue you were supposed to go donate to the kids blue again guys if you feel so inclined today I'm not going to ask you to join the skull squad I'm not going to ask you to donate to the stream Right now, if you want, if you have extra money and you feel like you were going to give it to me, go right now to the link in the chat. Go donate to Silly with the Children um, that is doing like amazing work to try to help the kids that are being displaced right now because of the war. Again, please go and give it to them instead. They deserve it more. They need it more. And yeah, thank you, Blue. I know you already donated to Save the Children too. I'm still going to hook you up with some stuff. Potter, child, are you too, my man? What are you doing? No. <laughs> um, but yeah, if, if you're interested in this painting, go ahead and shoot me an offer. I'll probably just end up donating whatever it makes back to the Save the Children Foundation anyway. I'm not trying to make any money off of this painting. Uh, like I said, I've already let people use it um, for their own designs, for their own things that they're going to do and they want to promote. Um, so you might see this, you know, or variations of this um, in other places. And again, if you want to use it for something, just go ahead and shoot me an email. I'll, I'll send you a picture of it myself. And if you like want to spread it, whatever, go ahead. Like, you have my full permission in this video. 
use this picture for whatever. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys um, again for all your support um, and my heart and my, you know, everything goes out to the people of Ukraine, especially the kids and the elderly and the women and, and all the people that are just, they're just living their lives. You know, they ain't part of the military. They ain't nothing like that. Um, and they don't deserve anything that's happening to them. So, <clears throat> you know, fuck Putin. Fuck Putin. I hope he catches one of these right in the fuck face. And yeah, any other person that tries to invade a country like that, you know. Mm. <laughs> so thank you guys again for all the support. And we'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Later, later, everybody.